It has happened, Luke McNicholas, the Irish goalkeeper, has put pen to paper to sign for Wrexham AFC. So it has been announced that Luke McNicholas has signed for the Reds after signing a deal until January with the option to buy in the transfer window. But before we get started in today's transfer video, if you're new watching this and if you're looking for all the best Wrexham AFC news on YouTube, this is the place to be. All the latest up-to-date videos and we are coming back with the first match day vlog of the season tomorrow away at Wimbledon, so make sure to click the subscribe button with the notification bell turned on so you do not miss that. And enough of the self-promotion, let's get talking about our latest Irishman to be added to the squad. So yeah, this is a really promising signing. I'm intrigued to see what McNeil Nicholas is all about and it's a great opportunity to obviously show Parkinson, show the fans what he is all about and most importantly he will provide much needed competition for the likes of Ben Foster, Mark Howard and Rob Lainton. So I'm just going to give you a small brief on McNicholas, sort of a career profile now. He is an Irish goalkeeper who we have signed from Irish League club Sligo Rovers. They've played 26 games so far this season. McNicholas has played all 26, only conceding 36 goals in those 26 games as Sligo unfortunately find themselves fighting for relegation. McNicholas has also represented Ireland at under 18s and has played for the likes of Finn Harps, Cliftonville and obviously most recently Sligo Rovers over in the Republic of Ireland. Now the 23 year old has played 80 games in his career so far aged just 23 and to note he has made six appearances in the UEFA Conference League qualifying rounds which I think is really good at the age of 23 I think anyone would love that opportunity he obviously played twice against Motherwell in their qualifying game for Sligo Rovers he didn't concede a goal over the two legs and he has also played against Norwegian Giants Viking FK who are in a current title race with Bodo Glimt so yeah I mean at 23 years of age he's got around he's played in Europe he's played in the League of Ireland he's been in title races which we'll get onto in a minute so I mean He's a man of experience and unlike Kai Calderbank Park, this is nothing against Calderbank Park, he hasn't been put in situations like this but at the age of 23 McNicholas playing in Europe, playing in the top league of Ireland, I think the experience of that age is valuable and definitely is one of the reasons why Parkinson and his team have decided to sign him. When McNicholas was between the sticks for Cliftonville he actually kept 17 clean sheets in 32 games. Now for anyone who's a geeky goalkeeping nerd you will know that this stat is really really good. Keeping 17 clean sheets across any amount of games in a season is ridiculous but to do it in 32 games is absolutely incredible and he only conceded 25 goals helping the Reds, Cliftonville finish second only one point off winning the league so he has been in a title race that was two seasons ago so when he was 21 years of age he helped Cliftonville reach 82 points that season and playing a huge role in between the sticks and yeah like I said he's had a relatively successful career so far being able to play in the conference league qualifying rounds being in a title race playing for some of the top teams in the League of Ireland and in the Irish Leagues. So we're not signing him blindly, he's obviously got the experience, he's got it on his CV, the teams he's played for, the competitions, the experiences he's been in so far. I mean, to do all that age 23 at a young age is good and he seems to be very highly rated by many fans that he's been at at different clubs. And let's get talking about the style of play that McNicholas plays. So it is described by football transfers that McNicholas is a sweeper keeper and a goalkeeper that loves playing with the ball at his feet. Now having McNicholas as a sweeper keeper means that we will see McNicholas being confident with the ball at his feet. He's going to provide the accurate passing and kicking whenever he does get the ball and obviously he'll act as that extra defender behind our back five. So I mean in a league like League 2 there is no margin for error for McNicholas to make mistakes if he is set to be playing as that sweeper keeper. If we do ever get to see McNicholas playing goal for Wrexham which I think he'll get many opportunities to across his spell at the club then he's obviously going to have to be on his A game whenever we do play. Now I must note that his playing style could possibly vary. Obviously we're going to be playing different tactics and different game styles to the likes of Sligo Rovers, Cliftonville at the clubs he has been at in the past. So I mean, yeah, his playing style could definitely vary under Phil Parkinson, but his most notably game style is playing as a sweeper keeper and playing with the ball at his feet. Now the main question everyone is asking and the reason why you clicked on this video is 
why have Wrexham signed Luke McNicholas? Now, the obvious one to point out is for cover, for cover in that goalkeeper spot. And it's definitely great to inject that youth element into our goalkeeping position because, like I stated in the video the other day, Foster 40, Howard 36, Lainton 33, they're all definitely getting on a bit and that's no disrespect to them. I think they can understand that themselves. So putting a youth goalkeeper or youngish goalkeeper into that goalkeeping area, there's definitely no harm in doing that and it's definitely going to benefit us for the long term and it's a huge chance for him to potentially play some games across the board this season. I definitely think he'll get chances in the Papa John's Trophy in the Carabao Cup and who knows if he does impress in them then he could give Foster a run for his money for that regular number one goalkeeping spot. And yeah if McNicholas doesn't play many games this season then it's obviously going to be huge for him to learn incredible and valuable stuff off the likes of Foster who's played Premier League football, played in a World Cup, Howard who's played in the Championship League one so it's going to be great to see that McNicholas will be able to learn and improve his game from some of the top players in our squad. And yeah I think not to state the obvious but if his spell does go well here at Wrexham then there's a huge chance that he could possibly take that number one spot next season if things all go well and if he does impress and what I must say his development this season could be vital to whether he does become a regular next season obviously he's on alone until January now if things don't really happen up from now until January and we don't decide to maybe get him on that permanent deal then we could have missed the trick so I think getting his development in between now and January maybe playing him a few times in goal maybe in the Papa John's trophy that's why I think we have signed him just to see what he's all about and I think he will be chucked into the games like I said Papa John's trophy maybe against Bradford in the Carabao Cup and possibly a few league games if he does impress and we're going to be talking about what social media has had to say about Luke McNicholas departing now we're going to be focusing on the Sligo Rovers end of things because obviously they know a lot more than we do at this moment in time. Now, a lot of Sligo fans, from what I've seen from the comments and the quote retweets, they are massively disappointed that he has departed the club. A lot of fans are disappointed that he has left the club whilst they are in a relegation battle, but they have understood that if the transfer fee is right when what is reported as, then it's a no-brainer for the club. And a lot of people have said if they're struggling financially, then this could be an absolute no-brainer for them to accept this deal. I think this is a really important note to put in today's video. Now, Sligo fans have said he's a really good keeper, but they haven't seen him play at his best. Now, they've said that his performances haven't been at the highest that he could possibly have played at because the team isn't playing with much confidence obviously with the league situation they're in joining Wrexham could be really beneficial for McNicholas obviously we've got high ambitions he's going to be playing in a positive environment and it could do McNicholas the world of good joining a team that has high ambitions and a team that will push him to the maximum and a coaching team that will want to improve him and hopefully get the very best out of him so yeah it's a really exciting signing made by Wrexham I'm really excited to see how McNicholas does do in his short spell at the club whether we'll take him on on a permanent in January or how he will do in between now until January will he play much game time yeah that's the questions we'll be asking in a brief this is a loan until January we have got the option to buy and it's rumored to be around £85,000 if we do want to sign him on a permanent like I said really happy to see him signed I hope you enjoyed this sort of tactical analysis on McNicholas really enjoyed doing this video really enjoyed putting it together so if you enjoyed make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new and I'll see you tomorrow for the Wimbledon vlog until then up the town and of course don't forget welcome to Wrexham Luke McNicholas